women. You already know it's the shower quad, the studious one. Represent for the princes of power, Yasharala. We gon' do this thing, man. I'ma keep doing this to you. How will shot come back? Most high will, man. I'm still in this. You know what I'm saying? But feel me on this. Uh. The real Jews is black. 40 days, 40 nights, 40 tracks. What's messing with that, huh? Straight out the woodwork. We putting in that good work. Laboring the gospel, the good news. Coming soon to a theater near you, so keep it. Line upon line, precept upon precept. We know the secrets and dark sayings. Wisdom beyond the pages, we rule the dark ages. This is more than entertainment. It's spiritual music, I ain't trying to get famous. That's not what my aim is, I don't need the stardom. My faith is that God is, I'm off the hook. No doubt, tone, just leave me alone. Let me just live my life in righteousness. I fight just to live life right. Gotta stay focused, cause this world's a mess. Far from holy, you think I'm nice, I don't. It's just the spirit upon me. The spirit is flowing, the spirit is showing. Me things and prophecies that shall come to pass. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall right, so uh, yeah. As was spoken of, we read Exodus chapter 19 verse 6. Okay, the Lord said that, the children of Israel will be priests unto him, okay, over the entire earth, all right, and various other scriptures like, which we're going to get furthermore later on the show, Lord's willing, all right, so let's go back into Revelation chapter 7, verse 9, because this was a video, okay, upon request from a fellow brother slash subscriber, I believe, of the nation of Israel, that uh, requested I do a video on the book of Revelation chapter 7, verse 9, because this is a doctrine that the uh, Jehovah Witness brought to his attention, okay, one Sabbath Saturday morning, okay, and yes, I'm teaching that the Sabbath is so-called Saturday, all right, from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. So, one called, one um, Sabbath morning, so-called Saturday, okay, they came knocking at his door, like a lot of Jehovah Witnesses like to do on Saturday mornings, and they knock on my door from time to time, but after I cut them with the scriptures to the spirit of Mosai Wa Yahawasha, and I asked them for the original King James Version Bible, the little red book that they have. Okay, they don't come back to my house anymore. <laughs> right. And uh, this usually happens before I'm preparing to go to camp. Okay. But um, I'm going to read Revelation chapter 7 verse 9 because um, there's a misconception that this is referring to uh, all nations, Gentiles, outside of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's a heavy misconception. We're going to further prove that according to Scripture. I'm going to read Revelation chapter 7 verse 9. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, and kindreds, and people, and tongues, stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, and palms in their hands. Right, so, as was brought out, that the, uh, the great multitude, which no man could number, that was also another form of a clue, okay, for the Israelites. You understand? We get the understanding. So now, um... I'm going to go to uh, Revelation. Matter of fact, before I even go there, I'm going to drop down to verse 14. Okay. And I said unto them, Sir, thou knowest, because, you know, John asked the angel, Who are these people? And he said to me, This is what the angel said unto John the Revelator These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. You understand? So basically, these people, okay, basically through Christ, was to be able to be forgiven for their sins, you understand? And they was considered to be clean in the eyes of the Most High for the simple fact that they put their faith and trust in His Son and they kept the commandments to the best of their ability, okay, which is the whole point. Um, let's hold that. I want to go to Revelation chapter 1, verse 5, and I'm going to read it. And it says, And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth, Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in, okay, in his own blood, okay? Because us is a possessive pronoun. It's not talking about everybody. And I made another video, okay, previously understanding, okay, the dark truth behind John chapter 3, verse 16, showing that the world that God so loved was talking about the world of Israel, okay? And within that world, okay, came the ones who Christ loved or who the Father loved, which was the elect, the ones that believed in Christ within the nation of Israel, okay? Because like the scripture said, not all Israel is Israel, okay? Because a true Israelite will believe in the Son of Man, okay? And the Son of the Most High, 
So now I'm going to read verse 6. It says, and have made us kings and priests, okay, unto God and his father. So the kings and the priests, okay, who was that? When you read Exodus chapter 19, verse 6, the Lord said he made Israel to be his kings and priests, okay, or many his priests, okay, and the kings or the rulers of the earth would be from the house of Israel, coming from the man from the throne of David, which was Christ, who took over the throne of his father David, when you read the scriptures again, understand it, okay, and it says, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever, amen, you understand, so like I said, Exodus 19 and 6 shows you, in which Peter quoted, okay, I believe in his first book, concerning, okay, the Israelites being priests, okay, unto the Most High, and the strangers that were scattered during the time of Peter, all throughout Asia Minor and Europe, was referring to the Israelites, you understand, that the Lord was calling to be his kings and his priests, okay, when you get to understand the scriptures, and to further prove that, I'm going to go to Revelation chapter 20, verse 6, okay, and it says, blessed and holy is he that hath part of the first resurrection, okay, on such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, meaning the ones, okay, that's basically resurrected, okay, that died in his truth, you understand, the Lord said, bless are those that take partake of that, and that rapture that comes with it, concerning, okay, the Israelites that are scattered, that's going to beam the, be beamed on the chariots, okay, or the, or the so-called UFOs that the white man calls them, okay, but they're identified in the Bible as the chariots of God, like Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 4, 17 through 18, Okay, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up to the Lord and meet him in the air. Okay, what the Christians call the so-called rapture. All right, that's how the Israelites are going to escape from the destruction here in America. It's not going to be fleeing out of your own reconnaissance. All right, the Israelites will be delivered out of America and throughout the four corners of the earth where the destruction is mainly centered at. Okay, and the chariots. But the main deliverance is going to be here in Babylon, which is America. Okay, and it says... um. But they should be priests of God and of Christ. So they're going to show you that that's talking about Israelites. Okay. And show reign with him a thousand years. Meaning that Christ is going to supersede the kingdom. Okay. For about a thousand years approximately. All right. We're going to be reigning with him. All right. And then after that, the son of man is going to return back into the heavens. And the order is going to be established on earth, which is called quote unquote paradise. All right. So now um, let's get up Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1. Okay, still giving an understanding of Revelation 7 and 9. Okay, let's go to Isaiah, okay, chapter 61, okay, verse 1, all right? And it says right here, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to build up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. Verse 3, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, okay, referring to Israel, to give them, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified, which is referring to Israel. Verse 4, and they shall build the old waste, and they shall raise up the former desolation.